I'm too white for this, guys. You guys start throwing some crazy names at me, I can't say them properly, all right? But I'm learning, so let's, let's give it a go. in front of me the Nike Dunk Siempre Familia. <laughs> I know, I probably butchered that, but it's okay. Uh, this is a dope sneaker, guys. I've already taken a look at it, I love it, but we're gonna unbox it anyway, and um, I'm gonna show you guys what the sneaker's all about. We're gonna go through the anatomy of the sneaker like always. You already know how we do it on this channel. And if you guys love the video, smash that subscribe button, it's free. <laughs> is interesting on this guys we have this like muted color palette which I really really love we have these like pastel colors that are ranging from blues reds to oranges to greens I really love the color palette that's on this box we got siempre on the side of it which means what the hell does that mean let me look it means always family and I like that it's cool all right you guys all want to see the shoe the sneaker let's take a look at it when you see these sneakers for the first time they stand out and there's no reason why they shouldn't stand out because they are a work of art in so many different ways. Let's talk about the leather real quick because that is the staple of the shoe. We have this off green uh, reptilian leather, if you will, and it looks really, really clean. It's basically like stamped with a scale pattern and I love that about this leather. It's so unique. So again, it's a muted green leather, looks super clean. On the upper, we also have that black fox snake skin as well. I guess that's what they're calling it. I love that it's continued throughout the shoe and it's got a really nice balance. That's another thing I noticed about this sneaker is that they that you could tell they thought about balance because when you're combining different fabrics, different colors and different patterns, it's really easy, just like the handcrafted that we reviewed, it's really easy to overwhelm the design and I think they did a great job not doing that on the sneaker it looks super balanced and the sneaker released shortly after the day of the dead festival in mexico which was september 1st i believe and this sneaker released in october so it released a little bit after not too far after and um that's kind of a good timeline if you think about it and if you're somebody that really loves the day of the dead festival i think you'll appreciate this sneaker it definitely has that culture embedded in its dna going back to the sneakers overall aesthetic if we go to the lateral side of the shoe the one thing that really stands out at least for me is this lizard print with this like ruby eye. It's honestly insane looking and it just looks super clean. It pops out with that yellow. It's got a little bit of orange on it as well that's printed on there. Um, overall, it just looks really, really nice. And to add to that, we have this Nike swoosh right here that is super festive and it has all those really nice vibrant colors. And to complement the blue on the swoosh, we have a nice vibrant blue sock liner, which looks so clean. The tongue's also in that same blue color. Honestly, to me, I may be colorblind, but it looks more of like a seafoam green or like a teal. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but it's definitely not quite blue. Continuing the touch of vibrancy that we have here, if you look at the insole, we have that bright red orangish color insole with the uh, Day of the Dead style skull printed on it. If you follow the swoosh around on the heel, you can see that there's a Nike print. It's it's kind of embossed actually and it has that same color scheme as the swoosh itself in the same pattern as well so it really complements one another and of course it complements that sock liner and the insole as well so again they really thought this out um, on the tongue we have this translucent icy blue tag this tongue tag with the Nike print in that orangish color uh, again, some people are calling it red, but in my eyes, it looks like an orange color. On the midsole, we have a little bit of an off-white color. And to complement that tillish blue color that we have throughout the sneaker, we have a icy translucent blue outsole. So really, really helps uh, finish it off. It puts a cherry on the top, if you know what I'm saying. If you guys wanna pick them up, you can go to canopy.store, as always. And if you're like me and you have a smartphone, you can download our mobile app and shop at Irma Rewards at the same time. Just search Canopy Streetwear in any app store and you will find us. These are the Siempre Familia. Um, I know I'm butchering that probably, but uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome guys. Check them out in the link in the description below. Follow us on Instagram as well. My name is Charlie with Canopy. I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right?